Once you beat Hatchel's Trial, the guard that was standing watch in front of this door will be gone, and you can access the rest of Bale, although there isn't really much to do at this point. There's a few NPCs... But... Not much, really. Just a bunch of NPCs who talk about wanting to become knights and... Just... Just... Ordinary things. But there's another portal over here now that will take you to a new area of the moon. And I think that this is one of the one of the coolest, if not the coolest looking uh, retrace worlds in uh, uh, what is it? In the moon. Because the uh, I don't know if it's act, if it's just like supposed to be a real invisible floor or they're just standing in clouds. Because this place is pretty much a Wiggly Palace. So you can imagine that this is where Baru's trial will take place, but we have other trials to take care of at the moment. The next one on our list, I believe, is Pongles. There is no treasure in here, so we can just start. We can just keep moving here. Rose? Rose, who's Michael? Oh, Rose's dragon. Now, now the thing about this dragon is it actually looks remotely like a freaking dragon! And it's definitely one of my favorite dragon designs in-game. And unfortunately, the party gets separated here, and you lose Dart and Rose. And the one time, the one time that Dart is out of your party and Al is leading it, you can't get into random battles. What the hell, game? That's a good question, Al. You know, Miranda, that's about the wisest thing you've said throughout through the entire game, and I think that's that's the wisest line that she ever says. So this was the uh Huh. So this is the reason why Congo is the last remaining Giganto. This must have been a long time ago, like at least 30 or 40 years ago, because if Kongle's just a child in this scene, then this must have been a long time ago. I don't know if the manual ever tells... The manual or anywhere in the game tells you what Kongle's age is. And I don't have the manual because I bought this game used, obviously. Uh, if you want to, if you have this downloaded on PSN, it does come with uh, images of the manual, so you can read it online, but I don't have it because I have the discs, and I considered getting it for my PSP, just have it for portability's sake, but I don't know how often I'm going to play the game. Since I've beaten this game numerous times, and this is yet another time. <laughs> uh, you know, that kind of reminds me of uh, Earthbound, where Gygus screams your name over and over and over again. Yeah. Even though it looks like you can get into random encounters here, you can't. 
And unsurprisingly, because this is the land of the Gigantos, uh, this is Kongol's trial. Well, you've already seen Dart and, or not Dart, but you've already seen uh, Miranda and Tasha leave for their own their own things. So, I guess in the so I guess the party's starting to realize that in the moon. Um, what is it? In the moon, everybody's going to have to face their fears. And I think that this is a really good way of making... of really giving more insight into characters this close to the end of the game. Now, the fight with Endora is pretty much a mirror match. They have this... Like, both of the... Both Kongo and Endora have basically the same capabilities, though Endora does have uh, two different physical attacks, one that's stronger than the other, and that's his weaker one. How much HP does Endora have anyway? I'm gonna... I'm gonna use my power down first, and then see. What does my bestiary say about uh, Endora's HP? 2,696. That's a weird number. Oh, whatever. Uh, you'll want, after you buff and debuff, you'll want to use the Psychedelic Bomb, even though Kongol's magic attack sucks, because Endora, being a clone of Kongol, has shitty magic defense as well, so it all evens out. Now, this is the more powerful physical attack that Endora can use. It's not powerful, more powerful by much, but it is stronger. Now let's get that Psych Bomb done. I don't know if this will kill him, but it'll be close. And I don't think you have any dialogue choices to make either, it's just a slugfest. Yeah, that's more than enough damage. No dialogue choices, no nothing, he just disappears. 6,000 experience points and a successful trial for Kongol. And we get the Endora's Axe, Kongol's ultimate weapon. This has the property of instant death. Just random instant death on just an enemy you use it on, but because, but because you can pretty much tear through regular enemies and the regular enemies you want to use this on that are annoying enough are immune to instant death anyway, it's just a better weapon for him. Just barely got that second level. So, I don't understand why Kongol had to fight Endora in the moon. I guess for some reason he needed to prove that he was the stronger of the two brothers. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but then the reason why Kongol is traveling with the group doesn't really make sense to begin with. I really think that the whole inclusion of Kongol in the party was just half-assed by the writers. Yeah, we do need to find Dark Rose. I wonder where they went. Now you can go down here. You, you can go down here into the treasure room in the Hall of Gigantos, but I can't remember if there's anything down here or not. There might be one treasure. Yeah, there is one treasure. The Golden Dragoon Armor. Uh, the reason why I bought it anyway is because I was using Kongo for the fight and I had the gold to spare. But if for some reason you didn't buy the Golden Dragoon armor, you can get one. You can get another one there. All right. 
right. Now, there should be a portal over here that I believe takes us back to the, uh, what is it? Yeah, it takes us back to the the Mininto cave area, and you still cannot run into random enemies back here. But we've already got this place cleaned up, so it doesn't really matter that much. Huh, there's... Dark and Rose are still gone. That's a good point, Hash. I'll just wait for him here since Bale is the most likely place that they'll come back. 